Hello, my name is Ben Rubin. And I am Jose Ortiz. And we're going to talk to you about herding cats, inducing cooperation of uncooperative multidimensional agents. So the Kuramoto model is, describes a system of coupled oscillators. And our work is based on the Kuramoto model and a recent extension of that model to higher dimensions. Uh, this model, written here, has been applied to systems like uh, systems of fireflies, cardiac rhythms, and power grids. And uh, it describes a couple of oscillators where an oscillator is classically thought of as being described by a single scalar variable known as the phase, which varies from 0 to 2 pi. But equivalently, you can think of it as describing a unit vector, uh, like in this simulation here. Uh, and then when you write equations that describe the motion of the unit vectors that are equivalent to the original system, just sort of cast in different terms, you get an expression shown down here that can be very easily generalized to higher dimensional vectors. And so we worked with uh, the three-dimensional case of this higher dimensional uh, system. And focusing on the case where these k values are negative, which means that agents naturally want to spread out. So you here, see here when k is positive, the agents are attracting each other. But when you make this k value negative, the agents spread out over the surface of this sphere. So if you look at this picture here, you see that the agents naturally on their own want to spread out. We ask the question, what will happen if we add an external periodic driving force that sort of competes with this natural tendency for the unit vectors to spread out, represented by this extra added term in this equation here. Um, and this, this will create competing effects. The agents naturally want to spread over the sphere, but they're following a common driver. And so this is what we mean by trying to get uncooperative agents to cooperate with each other. Our main question is under what conditions will this common driving force be able to unite all of the agents and get them to cooperate and point in the same direction. So the driver we used had a, a changing component F1 that rotates around at a constant rate omega, and a constant component F0 that makes the driver, on average, point towards a preferred direction. And so if F0 is present, we call it a biased driver. If it F0 is not present, then we call it an unbiased driver. Yes. Okay. So, and we have two ways of looking at our system. One is the full system, in which we um, numerically integrate um, two times n differential equations for the n agents. And the other is the reduced system, in which we have uh, consider the limit as uh, the amount of agents goes to infinity, and we consider a continuous distribution of the agents over the sphere. And this, the dynamics of this continuous distribution is given by only three nonlinear differential equations, thanks to the Antonsen reduction. In both cases, we describe the dynamics of the system with the order parameter, which is a vector that points in the average direction of the agents. And if it's uh, close to zero, the agents are spread out. Low cooperation, if it's close to one, they are close together associated with high cooperation. And so we found that full cooperation can be induced. And, and the system goes to one of two steady states. One, is, one exhibits full cooperation, in which the agent follows the driver as one. And the other, partial cooperation, in which they follow, but each in their own way. And so we see a transition in this plot we, uh, of order parameter magnitude versus the coupling constant k from a partial cooperation to full cooperation. And we could determine analytically where that transition happens. We also looked at the differences between biased and unbiased drivers, where the biased driver points in a preferred direction for most of its uh, orbit. Uh, and what we found is that biased drivers can induce, they can always induce full cooperation when, even if agents repel each other, as long as they don't repel each other too hard. And that's shown as the, this, this critical constant on the graph to the left is at a value less than zero. However, unbiased drivers, if they're rotating too quickly, aren't always going to be able to unify agents that repel each other. As you can see, this uh, discontinuous transition on the graph to the right shows that uh, for 
at a, at a, occurring at a value of zero shows that agents that repel each other will always have some spread over the sphere instead of coming together fully. So in conclusion, we saw that we can induce cooperation on uncooperative agents with an appropriate driver, and our reduced system describes well the, the full system, and we can treat the system then analytically. And we also saw important differences between biased and unbiased drivers. We would like to thank NSF and the University of Maryland, and especially our mentors, Professors Ott, Given, and Antonsen, and graduate student Sartak Chandra here at UMD for helping us through this summer. Thank you.